today we will solve some problems using while loop the first problem we are going to discuss here is to write a program to display all even numbers display all even numbers from 1 to 100 this is comment section so for that uh, we are taking a variable i and we have declared it as integer now what should be the value of i as we have to display all numbers from 1 to 100 so we have to start with the first value so we are taking first value as 2 as first even number after 1 is 2 now use the while condition within while we can write the test condition that is i is less than equal to 100 it means that we want to run the loop till the value of i is 100 now simply print the value of i within double quotes percentage d use slash t to give space between two numbers and then after double quotes put a comma and then i now put a semicolon now we have to increase the value of i so after two the next uh, even number is four so for that we have to increase the value of i by two so for that we will write i plus equal to two this will increase the value of i by two so initially the value of i is two when you will execute the program it will test the condition condition is true it will display the value of i that is two now i plus equal to will add the uh, add two in the existing value of i that is uh, present value of i is two it will increase it by two so it will become four again condition is tested now i is still less than 100 it will display four now again i is incremented by two and it will continue to display all the values from 1 to 100 now write get ch outside the while loop and put a semicolon just compile the program now compile the program and check the output you can see that uh, we are getting values from 2 to 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, all are even numbers. So with uh, this, uh, we can move to next uh, program. Uh, just try to solve this prob problem with some other approach. What we are doing here, we are initializing i with 1 and test condition will remain same and before displaying the value we are checking putting a if condition if i mod 2 is equal to 0 then only display the value and here increase the value of i by 1 in this program initially the value of i is 1 the condition is tested condition is true as value of 1 i is a 1 so condition is true we will get inside the loop uh, now the if condition will encounter and uh, here we will compare uh, the value returned from this expression with 0 if the value returned is 0 the condition is true and if it if it is non zero the condition is false so if print of statement will work only if this condition is true so here i is 1 and i more 1 more 2 will give you the remainder and here it will give you uh, 1 and it is compared with it to the with 0 and 1 is uh, not equal to 0 so this condition is false so this print of statement will not work 
we will directly go to i plus plus it will increase the value of i by one now i becomes two again condition is tested and uh, as condition is true you will get inside the loop and then the if condition is executed here 2 mod 2 it will return you remainder that is 2 divided by 2 is 0 so it will return 0 and 0 is compared with 0 it's true so the condition is true so it will execute printf statement and it will display the value of i that is 2 will be displayed uh, then i plus plus is executed it will increase the value of i by 1 and uh, now condition is tested now our value of i is 3 condition is still true if you will get inside the loop uh, it will check whether 3 mod 2 it will give you return you 1 is equal to 0 no condition is false so printf statement will not work it will directly increase the value i by 1 now i becomes 4 4 still i uh, the condition is true now you are again inside the loop 4 mod 2 4 mod 2 will give you 0 and 0 is equal to 0 so condition is true it will display uh, the value of i that is 4 and then i will increase the value of i by 1 so now i becomes 1 and that's uh, how it will work now check the execute the program and check the output you can see the output you are getting 2, 4, 6, 8, all even numbers are displayed from 2 to 100. So, uh, these are two different approaches through which you can solve the problem. Uh, in the next program, we will discuss some more examples with while.